if modding practices are so great, why not do them all the time? In other words, at what point should we encourage developing something from a blank slate instead of modding as existing code? Well, I personally know as somebody who's engaged in modding practices and as somebody who's facilitated modding practices with elementary and middle school kids, I know that this can be a very beneficial thing, but I also know that it can be really beneficial to start from a blank page and learn through those processes of thinking through, okay, if I want to make a character do X, Y, and Z, I need to create functions that do X, Y, and Z. So how do I start creating those functions and how are they going to all kind of work inter interdependently and interconnectedly. However, I know that can also be very frustrating for kids. So if, if there's any recommendation that I can give is rather than picking one end of the spectrum or the other in terms of to mod or not to mod, I would say give both options and, and everything in between. So you can be like, hey kids, if you're interested in modding, you can do that. As long as you're not just sitting there and changing colors of things, but actually changing the code, cool, awesome. But if you'd rather create something from a blank page and go from there, Awesome, you can do that too. Now to kind of argue with that approach, I have heard from several software engineers or computer programmers who say you almost never start anything from a blank page. You're almost always starting from what other people have already done. So modding practices are very common even outside of the game world. 